Dr. Richard H. Strauss wallowed in a cesspool of deviancy, according to some of the 177 students he sexually abused. That stunning number in a report prepared by a former federal prosecutor in Chicago who found that Ohio State University administrators knew about the misconduct and did very little. The I-Team tonight learning that Strauss was born in Chicago and went to medical school at University of Chicago, even though his deviant legacy is at Ohio State. Strauss was an unassuming sports physician at Ohio State University, little known except to the teenagers and young men he groped, molested, and assaulted. 177 male students molested and attacked during a span of almost two decades, according to this new investigation. Findings that Strauss sexually abused young men on campus from 1979 to 1997, essentially his entire career at Ohio State, during which he mainly treated athletes, many tonight feeling vindicated. There's no question, no doubt at this point. If, if anybody had any doubt, it's gone. It's completely erased. Uh, and, and Ohio State's President Drake to come out today and say, we failed to act, that's what we've been wanting all along. The investigation was led by T. Marcus Funk, best known for prosecuting top Chicago hoodlums in the Operation Family Secrets mob murder case. Funk's report on Strauss and the Ohio State abuse and misconduct covers 232 pages, offering a graphic glimpse of a rogue physician and the lives he wrecked. Athletes from at least 16 sports abused, misconduct known to OSU officials according to the report and largely ignored. The report found that as early as 1979, university personnel knew that Strauss was conducting genital exams on male athletes that were unusually prolonged. Despite the persistent seriousness and regularity of such complaints, no meaningful action was taken by the university until January 1996. Strauss was allowed to retire in 98 with emeritus status. He moved to this Ocean View apartment house in Venice Beach, California, where in 2005 he killed himself at age 67, never facing justice, the secrets of his perversion taken to the grave. Ohio State's president tonight admitting the university failed to prevent the abuse and says the report has shaken them to their core. Oddly, before training in Chicago, Strauss received his undergraduate degree from Michigan State University, home of the nation's worst ever doctor molester, Larry Nasser, also a sports medicine doctor who used exam tables and locker rooms to sexually assault 250 young athletes. Unlike this guy at Ohio State, Nasser is in life, essentially, for in prison for life. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.